Hey guys, how's it going? <coughs> so I have a pretty big uh, tarantula update today. I haven't really done one in a while and I've had a bunch of new things. And as you can see, here's most of my containers. My collection is getting pretty big and hopefully I'm about to be moving so I'll have more room. Be upgrading some of them into bigger containers and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, first off, a few weeks ago, I ordered uh, five P Regalis slings from uh, White Inverts off Arachno of Boards. I never showed this because he sent me the five slings. Um, I got them shipped express, and one of them ended up dying somehow. Um, you know, I don't think it was of any fault of his own, but one of them ended up dying. So he said he'd send me a replacement package because I did get a live arrival guarantee. Uh, also, they were a tiny bit smaller than he had said, but not much. That wasn't a big deal. Anyway, so he sent me the replacement package, and we actually ended up waiting to send it because it got hot again, and I didn't want to send them when it's too hot. So we waited a few weeks until it cooled down, and then he sent me a replacement package, and then he sent me two instead of one, which is really awesome. Um, so yeah, start off, uh, I now showed you the HMAC. There it is, and here's its setup. It's a pretty cool setup. Got some live plants in it. Um, I traded the guy that when I bought these Peter Gallus I had a guy that I know the guy I got my black tree monitors from he is breeding Regalis and needs a male so anyway he wanted to buy one of the slings from me so I sold him one of the slings and when I went there to do that he had the HMAC um, and he had been it had been sold to him as a P. Regalis so when I looked at it and told him that, you know, I said, hey, this is an HMAC, it's not a Peter Gallus. And he said, I didn't think it looked right, you know, but he didn't know for sure. Um, so he gave me the HMAC, a straight up trade for the HMAC and cage for one of the Peter Gallus slings. So that's a pretty freaking good deal on my part. Um, and he didn't need it anyway, so it really kind of worked out on his part too. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, here's one of the Peter Gallus. You're not going to be able to see them because they hide in their tiny slings. Well, there's that one actually. You can kind of see it, it's just blurry. Got my macro on, that's not really going to help much, but anyway, you can kind of see it. There you go. They're about an inch and a half. Oh, so there's one, that's one of the ones I got in the replacement package. There are two in here that you're not going to be able to see because they're always hiding. And I have gotten molts. This has been a great week for Poke Molts. Um, I've gotten, there's two in here, I've gotten molts from both of them. There's one in this, and I've gotten a molt from it. And then there's one in this, and I've gotten a molt from it. So I've already got molts from four out of the five of them, which is really cool. Um, this one's definitely the smallest of the bunch, but yeah, he'll get there. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's cool. Now I have six Peter Gallus, <laughs> and if this guy breeds them, um, the guy that I sold that one little one to, I'm going to help him out taking care of them and then get a few f more for free and probably sell some. <laughs> So anyway, that's cool. So yeah, I got four molts from them. I got a molt from my mature, or not mature, I'm sorry, my sub-adult female pure gal. Let's so see if we can find her. There she is. Uh, it's kind of hard to see through the webbing. You can see her right there, though. She is probably around at least three and a half inches now, maybe even four. I haven't really got to see. I bet she's four. You can see there, she's really pretty big. So, um, probably maybe going to leave her in there for one more molt. I don't know. We'll see when I move. I might move her. And I also kind of unexpectedly got a molt. I moved, also moved my, uh, I think it's the P. Formosa, the Sri Lankan ornamental, was in there. And I moved it into here. You can see it's got those bright yellow legs. But it also just molted. I haven't got to sex it yet, but it's probably a good three inches now. So, and these all molted almost within the same week. So that is really cool. Um, not really too many other updates. <coughs> I did move a bunch of stuff around. Let's see. Just because I needed some new caging and some of them needed bigger caging. Here's the Peruvian Dwarf. I uh, moved it into this thing because I sold some of my Crested Geckos and I don't really have any other use for this. So I put it in there. And this will be a home for, home for the rest of its life. I'm kind of waiting for it to burrow because the last cage it burrowed pretty deep, but it hasn't yet. It's just kind of been chilling. So that's that. Um, 
trying to think what else I moved around. I moved a few things around. I moved my green bottle blue into here. Um, which is looking great. Wish I could show you a little better, but I don't really feel like taking all these cages off each other. Yeah, so whenever I move, um, and get my, like, tarantula shelf, I guess is what I'm probably going to do is get a whole shelf for them. I will go through my entire collection and show you all of them. Hopefully, maybe try to get some better video. So that would be really awesome. Because my roommate has a Nikon D40 and I can take video on that and it should be better. I mean, I hate to take it and steal it every day to make videos, but I think occasionally I might use it just to get some better quality. Anyway, that's my update. Uh, if you have any that you specifically want to see, I'll show you. Otherwise, just wait a few weeks and I'll probably do a big long video and show every single one of them. So, alright guys, take it easy.